Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Illustrator and using repeats as well as the rectangular grid. Now, this is a sort of design you can create. Obviously, you may not want to create this straight away, but it's uh, using, I'm just going to come out and you can see the actual repeat option there, which you can, of course, move that around and create all kinds of different angles and distances. But I'm going to remove that because I don't want that. What I want to do, I'm going to start right at the beginning. And the key thing here is the rectangular grid. So rectangular grid tool, bit of a mouthful. So there, and what you can do, you can click on the document and it will come up with this, or you can just draw it and it will use these defaults there. And now I've got five and five. You can change that. You can make it 10 and 10, 10 and 15, whatever. I'm just gonna click okay. Now that hasn't got a fill. It's just got, you can see the colors there. It's got nothing there in the fill. It's also got a stroke of black. Now properties, key panel that's very useful. You can change a variety of things. Not everything, not everything you think. You can change profile. Sometimes you can't. I must admit I've been doing a few times, but once you've expanded, of course, you can't. But I've just wanted to show you, you can do that. I'm not gonna use that. I just want it like that. It's really quite nice to create different designs that way. And also, of course, you can modify the points. So you can go over here, direct selection tool, and you can modify the individual points. So you can select that, drag that, and create all kinds of things. Obviously, it just breaks apart. They're just lines. And you can ungroup and all those sort of things. But I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go with the basic design. You could, of course, also apply effects. So if you want to, you go to effects, maybe use 3D, you know, all these sort of things, distorts, stylize, drop shadow. Now, unfortunately, the rectangular grid is not a live tool. You can't modify it via the properties. There's no property there for the grid. It'd be nice if there was, however, that's not available. Now, once you've done this, what you want to do, I'm gonna fill it, because I don't, I mean, I could actually just quickly go and add rectangles and I could put them behind, set the color, and then obviously put that Arrange that just behind. So range, center black, back. And you can make all kinds of different color designs for your rectangle. You could do that and then use. But what I want to do is I'm going to show you this live paint bucket. So live paint bucket. Now you can't use the live paint bucket once you've gone into the repeat. Doesn't seem to allow you to do that. You can't use it. So if you're going to fill it, Fill it now, fill it at this point. So simply change the color there and just select there. Go over to the live paint bucket and just change the color and click. And you can see as you hover, you've got those little colors there just appearing. And obviously it's the red is the current one. So, but you can use the arrows, just use the left and right arrows just to change colors. You can see it runs through the colors there. Quite a nice feature. And I'm gonna go with a blue. I don't wanna fill the whole thing. This is not video about the, that. What you then need to do is you need to expand it. So object, expand, because it won't allow you to use the repeat. Now, once you've done all that, what you can do, you can go to object and repeat and radial. But you could use grid, perfect reason as well, and mirror as well. So radial, now my default's pretty extreme, 12. When it comes to the grid, not the best of defaults. But you can reduce it down very quickly. I'm gonna go with four. Now you can set it to anything you want, but it's just four is quite, and you can also move this around. So you can see, make all kinds of different combinations like that. However, there's no shift feature, so you can't freeze it to 45 or 90 degrees. Would be nice if you could do that, but there isn't. I'll just resize it so you can see the design. Now what you can do, you can also go in to the actual repeat. So this is just a repeat object. You can double click and you can then modify that design. You'll notice up here you're in this isolation mode. What you can then do is with there, with the selection tool, you can resize it and it will resize for all of them. They're all exactly identical so you can't there's sadly no sort of add a color, random color feature. It would be lovely if they could sort of make it so it would be varied in different positions. 
However, that's not available. You can also rotate, so you can create it like that. Maybe stretch it out. Maybe make it slightly there. Stretch it that way. And so on and so on. And also you can edit the points. So if you decide, you know what, I want to edit those points, one or two of them, you can just see that and create some very abstract designs using that approach. So you can see that straight away, you can create some very interesting designs using the just the, that tool there, pen tool, sorry, direct selection tool even. <laughs> that would help. The direct selection tool, that's what it is. Now, what I want to do is also what you can do, just want to duplicate that design. So hold down the Alter Option key and release. That's on the keyboard, the Alter Option. Quite often asked, where's the Alter Option? Well, it's on the keyboard, normally next door to like Control or Command. But I've had keyboards where it's all over the place. So it's not always the same position. And you can resize this, of course, you can resize it. And also, if you want, maybe go over here and change the stroke. Maybe reduce that down, up to you. Now, if you go to stroke there, you'll notice you can't change the width. The width profile, for some weird reason, doesn't seem to be available. Dash lines are, seems. And you can see that changes all the way there. But the other one is not. That's weird. There's a few subtle changes that I must admit I haven't noticed before. Obviously a different version of Illustrator for some weird. It did actually just update before I... So maybe obviously some things have changed. Now, so you can see you can create all kinds of very unusual designs. And of course you can rotate this way. You don't have to keep it like that. And you can duplicate it again if you want to duplicate it again. And so on and so on. You can do that. Now I'm just going to come out of that. And now I can do, I can still change this, move it around, and also increase the number of instances. Of course, it looks a bit of a mess when you've got lots of things like that, which is maybe not so useful. However, let's go back to the rectangular grid. And I'm just going to start this. Now you don't have to. Of course, have the stroke. What you can do, you can always just go over here, and I'm just going to go live paint, and I'm just going to add some colours here. So, just and maybe red or blue, whatever, any colour. Just go through. Just uh, don't want to spend too long doing this. So, there's that design there. What you can do, you can go to object, and you can expand it. And now, if you just go and select there, you notice you've got stroke. I want no stroke at all. So you've still got that grid, which you can, of course, manipulate. And you can still, of course, go over here. Quite often, I always end up confusing that one with that one. So there's that one there. And again, you can still add additional colors to it if you want. However, again, you've always got to go to object and expand. The repeat will not work with this. So you've got that grid, and then what you can do, you can always go to Object and Repeat and Radial. So you can create, obviously reduce that down, have that a bit further out. And again, you can always double click and change the design and create some very abstract, colorful designs using this grid. And of course, what you can also do, you can always go to Object and you've got various there, you can go to Envelope, Distort, and of course, typically, that's not available. There's quite a few things that you just can't do within the repeat. Very strange. So, that's what it is. So, I'm just going to come out of there, and you can see your design there. So, most times, I would suggest, if you're going to apply any effects and things, quite often, something like that warp, obviously, clearly, has a problem inside the repeat. It's probably going to be best to do it outside and then expand and then use the repeat. So again, go over here to the rectangular grid. There it is. And add your grid. And this time I am going to add a stroke. And I'm just going to go five point. And I'm also going to click there. And I am going to go and add. So something like that. And I'm going to go to object and Envelope, distort, make with warp. So you can see your warped design there. Click OK. I don't want to spend too long doing warps and 
However, now if I go to object and repeat, it's not available. So what you need to do is again, object and expand. With that expanded, what you can do, and also sometimes it works best to just rotate it up that way. Works best, I think, upwards. However, up to you. Then you can go to object and repeat and radial. Of course, I could use grid as well. So radial, and you can see then you've got that design. And you can, of course, rotate this design. And of course, if you want to, just gonna add a few more. So you can see all kinds of different designs can be created there. Now, also again, still what you can do, you can double click and edit that. So you can shrink that down. You can see it changes with all of them. And also, if you want, you can maybe expand that, drag that to the center. Do that there. Oh, the sun's coming out. Very nice. And then once you finish, you can leave the isolation mode. Simply go up here to the radial repeat, click outwards, and then you've got your repeat there. And again, you can still manipulate this design. Navigator, so you can see it a bit better. You can see the design there. So all kinds of amazing designs can be created with this radial. And before I finish, one thing I did want to go through, you can use it with grid as well. So I'm just going to quickly select the design there and set the color then. That doesn't have to be black. And also properties go for five point. And you can see design there. Well, what you can do, you can always go to object and repeat and grid. And you can see you end up with a, obviously a grid of a grid with a bit of a gap in between. But you can, so you can just modify that and drag that out if you want to go make it further. So drag that way. I always think slightly would be nice if they had that on both sides. So you could, instead of just having one side, Unfortunately, it just means, because sometimes you think, oh, it'd be easy if I could just drag it from there. Of course, what you can do, always the way, is you can rotate it. And then, of course, it is up there. Quick, simple solution. Now, what you can do, you can also, of course, modify it as that instance is there. You can stretch the change of spacing, because that's what you're doing there. You're changing the spacing. So you might want it together. Or maybe slightly gap. And then, of course, what you can still do is you can still double click and you can go in and you can then modify the design there. Change your color if you want. Maybe go for air or blue or whatever. And also, of course, you can still use the rec selection tool and modify the points. Playing from Andrew 2017.57. Alexa, stop. Always remember to stop your, very strange, just random sort of occasionally out of the blue. It just has a mind of its own. However, you can see you can create some very abstract designs using this. And again, you've still got the option there for the nice rounding. And you can modify that as well. And so on and so on, all rounding there. So that's using the grid. And of course, you can do exactly the same with the object and also repeat and mirror. And the thing is you can actually do repeats of repeats. So that would be quite nice with this as well. So you can come out and then you've got your grid design there. <clears throat> Which of course you can still manipulate. And of course, once you're finished with it, once you're happy with it, object and expand. And you can expand the whole thing. And finally, I just quickly might as well, just for completeness sake, just simply go for rectangular, and then I'm just gonna create one like that. Object, and repeat, and mirror. And you can see the mirror one there, so you can create all kinds of mirror designs like that, or move the actual design. Choose that side. Always work from the left side. I don't know why, they haven't had an option where you could work from the right side. Sometimes it suddenly lets you work from the right side, but predominantly work from the left side when it comes to this mirror feature. And again, you can resize this and rotate it. You can see it crashes into it. Now, the result is interesting. It does seem to do the job, and you can see you can create 
all kinds of different designs. And again, as I mentioned, what you can do, come out of this, you got this mirror design, you can still go to object and repeat and radial. So you can see, then you can create a radial one of a mirror. And again, reduce the number there and just change that and do that. Well, that's a run through of some of the features. I'm certain rectangular grid can be used with the repeat feature. I'm certain with a bit of time, there's a lot more to explore with this. So it's a great feature, really great combination. And I think of interest that I will do maybe some more videos on this. Actually, I just realized just when I was just saying, I'm finishing just sort of some more things. So I'll put you that in a little, a little later. Well, I hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, obviously, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. It's always great to hear what did I do wrong? What did I do right? I do lots of things wrong in these. I quite often think mm, that's not how I, <laughs> it's quite possible. Also, a dislike or a like. Thank you much.